Losing your dog is one of the worst feelings in the world, but by implementing the right strategies as soon as possible, you have a great chance of finding your dog. Before we talk about how to find a dog, let's talk about the four biggest mistakes people make when trying to get their dog back. One, waiting for the dog to come home. It's very rare for dogs to just come home, particularly since dogs often get rescued by good Samaritans quickly. The sooner you start looking, the more likely you'll be reunited. Two, not checking your local shelter's website at least once every three days. Dogs can show up in shelters weeks or months after going missing. Three, only doing one or two of these tips. The more techniques you use, the better your chances. Four, giving up based on very unlikely scenarios, like the dog being stolen or killed by coyotes. Don't succumb to grief fatigue. Sometimes it's easier to give up and get closure than to keep looking, but persistence over time is what gets dogs home. Let's talk about what lost dog behavior really looks like. When dogs escape, they run. The friendlier a dog is, the more likely it is to be picked up quickly, and the less far it travels before being picked up. The more skittish or aggressive a dog seems, the longer it takes and the further it typically gets. A dog who is scared from home, like by fireworks, is likely to travel farther than a dog who simply digs under a fence on an adventure. And a dog lost in a residential area usually doesn't get as far as a dog who gets lost in a rural area. The most important strategies you can use to get your dog back are searching and marketing. In most cases, you're not looking for the dog. You're looking for the people who found the dog or who have seen the dog. This video will guide you through easy, proven strategies. And the more you do, the better your chances of getting your dog home. Step one, if your dog ran away within the last hour, it may be useful to drive around looking. However, because dogs usually get picked up and brought inside by members of the community relatively quickly, you'll want to start the other steps quickly as well. If you see people outside, ask if they saw the dog and what direction it was going. Step two, check Craigslist and other resources. Craigslist is the first place many people post when they find a lost animal. Be sure to check the lost and found pet section and make a lost pet post with pictures. Next door, a neighborhood specific social media site is another great place to check and post. There are likely other local lost and found pet Facebook pages and other resources for your area. Remember to repost every couple of days. Step three, check your local shelter at least once every three days. If you came to this video through an automated text messaging program, you'll be sent links to view our lost dogs as a reminder. Be sure to check all local shelters. For example, in our area, we have a city shelter, a county shelter, and an SPCA. All list animal pictures on their websites. However, it's also a good idea to visit the shelter, especially if the shelter's pictures aren't clear. Sadly, only one out of three dogs in shelters is picked up by their owners. A likely cause is that owners give up too soon. It's common for pets to take weeks or longer to show up in shelters, so it's imperative you keep looking. Step four, make posters, not flyers. Small paper flyers aren't noticed by drivers. This poster is proven to be noticed and readable, so try to make it look like this. The fluorescent paper can be found for about 50 cents at places like Target and Walmart. If rainy weather is expected, use sheet protectors. The minimum is six flyers at the busiest intersections near your house, but the more the better. Check local laws about what posts and signs are legal to attach your poster to. Step five, tag your car. Another highly effective strategy is to use car markers to turn your car into an advertising tool. Include the appearance of the dog, the general location missing, and your phone number, and tape a picture of the dog to the back window. Be sure to use Neo markers as these are the only ones that won't come off in the rain. Step six, if your dog has a microchip, call your microchip company and be sure your information is updated. If your dog is brought to a veterinary office or shelter, they'll be able to scan it and get in touch with you. Step seven, use Finding Rover. Another great way to get your dog back is by using Finding Rover. Just visit FindingRover.com and upload a picture. The site uses facial recognition to scan local participating shelters for your pet. Step eight, if you see your dog, approach properly. A dog's behavior changes when they're scared, and they may not recognize you initially. The worst thing to do would be to scare them away, especially into a road. Resist the urge to clap, whistle, and call, as this commotion can cause them to run. Don't make direct eye contact. Bring food, crinkle a bag, and pretend to eat the food. Make nummy nummy sounds like you're enjoying the food, and drop the food on the ground near you, looking at the food. Use a soft tone. This way, the dog doesn't see you as a threat, but instead sees you as a potential source of food. Step nine, don't give up. It takes time, and if you follow these steps diligently, you have a great chance of getting your dog home.